Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Talk about fire. Talk about fire. Oh my goodness, let's talk about some fire. First, let's look at that fiery morning. Sunshine, absolutely beautiful. Wow, 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 it's awesome, awesome. So listen up. Uh, is your health worth getting fired over? That's my question to you today. Uh, good morning to you, hope you're, you're getting kind of everything wrapped up, so to speak, with your holiday shopping, and maybe you're getting ready to have a little vacation. Uh, we're excited, we're going away as a family uh, next week, and uh, you're not gonna see too much of me. I'm gonna take a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a break from here. I definitely won't be at the ocean. I'll share with you a little bit of where I'm at, but anyway, I was thinking about this, and actually it was big news here in our town, and uh, head football coach for uh, the Jaguars got fired apparently, and I'm not honestly the big football person. Obviously, you don't hear me talking about football too much, right? Um, and I was thinking about getting fired, and one of the kind of crazy things uh, for me is I haven't ever, it's kind of weird, maybe I need to, I've never gotten fired from a job, and it probably helps that I've really worked for myself for over 20, gosh, 25 years. And um, so obviously, well, I guess I can say I fired myself. And actually, that's exactly my question to you is now, let's touch base first. I know I talk to people who um, struggle with their health and partly it's because of the type of job that they have. So I'm not talking about firing yourself that way. But on a side note, if maybe your job is really, really stressful. I talk to people whose jobs are super stressful and I'm not just telling you to like go quit tomorrow, but it could be that part of what you need to do is to fire yourself or maybe to quit your job and try something different if, if it really is affecting your personal health. But that's not the kind of fired I'm actually talking about. The kind of getting fired uh, is actually more of you firing yourself from why you're staying stuck. Think about this for a moment. We can talk about who got fired, you know, in, in the football world. You can talk about maybe the job, but let's just talk about the job that you have of taking care of yourself. Maybe you need to fire yourself, so to speak, from disappointment. Maybe you need to fire yourself from stress. Maybe you need to fire yourself from some of the things that are holding you back, that are limiting your full potential. I wanna encourage you on this beautiful Thursday, fiery morning, to get fired up. This is what you can do truly coming into the new year. You can actually get fired up about the new year by firing yourself from all the things that are keeping you from being your best. And I know one of the things, a couple of things that happen is when you're going down the path uh oh, here we go. <laughs> I am not going to get caught by these foam. Hold on a second. Let's go here. Hey, warning. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, I didn't want to get, I had shoes on and I didn't want to get the foam ball. So when you're getting fired up for the new year, right, get the holidays behind us, the new year, new me, it might require you to have to fire yourself from some of the things that are weighting you down, right? Maybe it's relationships. Maybe there's some relationships that are not help to encouraging you to be on a healthier path, right? And I'm not a relationship coach, but I do know that one of the most important relationships you can have is the one with yourself. I do know that, and I do know one of the things that actually people struggle with is not being able to let go. You think about that, right, in a job? Oh, I was let go. I was let go from my job. I was let go from this. Well, maybe it's time to let go of let go of the pressure. Here's the crazy thing is right now, there's a lot of pressure being put on a lot of people. I know it, I hear it, I even feel the pressure. And pressure is not a bad thing. It can be used as a good thing, but sometimes it can turn into a crippling thing. And when it cripples you, when that pressure kind of gets to a point where it prevents you from moving forward, then that's, again, what can really damage your health. So. My question to you is this morning, whether you're watching live, and if you are watching down a little bit later on, if you're not as early as I am, in fact, today I slept and I was up late, I met with some friends and I was up late 
and I don't usually do it. I slept till six, which is crazy. So that's in their 30s. So with that, uh, if you are still struggling, if you are stuck, I want to just let you in on a little secret of a movement of people who are getting fired up. I'll tell you what, not only are our metabolisms firing up, our attitudes are firing up in a positive way, our bodies are getting fired up to becoming the best, and the new year is going to be an exciting, an exciting path of getting, getting all fired up. So I want to let you know that we're moving forward with or without you. We're moving forward with or without you. And sorry, <laughs> my dog's going a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> he's not the friendliest dog, as you already know this. And I have the freedom leash on here. This is the freedom leash. You want to see the freedom leash? Look at this. That's the freedom leash. <laughs> maybe 2022 can be your, maybe without a leash, can be your freedom year because you're letting go. You're, you're firing off the things that are preventing you from staying stuck in your weight loss journey, staying stuck, becoming the absolute best mom or dad you can be. One of the things that I know that's helped me and helped so many of my students in their weight loss and fitness journey is being able to say no, being able to fire things that are not serving them. And I know it's hard. I know especially if we have responsibilities and relationships and things we just can't like let go of or a job, right? But I do know it is worth the effort. It is definitely worth the personal value that comes when you're able to say no to some of the things that are keeping you from being the best and absolute healthiest and fittest you. And that's what I'm moving forward into the new year. I'm going to be 50 next year. I don't know where you're at in your season of life, but I do know we're moving forward. The train is leaving. If you want access, if you want to find out more, I'm accepting. We can only accept about 10 new students and I already have five, well, six actually as of yesterday. So I have four more spots going into the new year and I'm looking for four more, men or women, over 40. If you have 30 to 50 pounds to lose and you wanna lose it in the next three to six months, I want you to send me a message privately with the word freedom. That's the word of the day, freedom, 2022. There's a lot of freedom that's been taken away in our lives uh, and maybe you felt the pressure. Maybe you feel like you are stuck and like in a bad job, right? or maybe as a coach in a bad, in a bad place and it's time to get fired up. But first you might need to fire a few things that are holding you back. So anyway, take care. Again, the word is freedom. The train is leaving. If you want to get on the train of success, you want to get a train of freedom, message me the word right down below or in a private message, freedom. And me and my team will take great care of you. We'll see if you're a good fit. We'll see where you're going. We'll see what your struggles are. And we'll determine together whether or not my program be a good fit for you. Take care. God bless. And talk to you soon.